Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, I am driving uh, this morning. Alicia sent me to the grocery store, and so uh, I will be talking to you with the side eye because I uh, want to keep my eye on the road. But I want to give you guys an update in terms of what I'm seeing in the stock market uh, today, uh, June 6th, or July 6th, excuse me, 2020. Um, I am seeing uh, a lot of a lot of really positive information in the market. The Dow jumped about 300 points right at the open. Uh, the futures market had already pointed to a strong opening, so it, it, it's kind of pretty predictable based on what futures are doing. Uh, the key indicators that are driving the market, as you guys know, uh, when I talk to you guys about the stock market, you know that information is the driver of, of the market information and uh, that information can be extrapolated uh, by market participants. Some smart, some not so smart, uh, some you know conservative, some speculatory, but, uh, but it all gets processed. And here's what's going on. Uh, first thing is uh, a lot of the recovery stocks are doing better. Uh, they are, um, you know, I'm talking about Carnival, MGM, you know, casinos, you know, things like that. And uh, it, well, MGM's a casino, Carnival's a cruise line, uh, American Airlines. So a lot of the airlines, cruise ships, and casinos, which are just kind of havens for germs, are all kind of taken off. I personally, you know, I was supposed to take a Carnival, or excuse me, a Royal Caribbean cruise this summer, and I, I'm not getting on a cruise ship right now. Uh, but I did get on an airplane. I got an airplane. I'm getting on another one on Friday. And, uh, and you know, you wear your mask, and you wash your hands, and you make sure you social distance. And, and you know, <clears throat> I believe you'll be relatively safe. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, the other interesting thing is um, Warren Buffett is finally making deals. Uh, he made a purchase of, an, uh, I believe, an energy company. I don't have the name in front of me of the company. But the fact that Warren Buffett, who's the biggest turtle in the market right now in terms of guys who just don't want to participate, uh, the fact that Buffett made a deal made a lot of people very confident that this might be the time to make acquisitions this might be the time to make moves so buffett made that move um and also there was a lot of movement in china chinese um the chinese markets uh went up uh quite a bit and uh, that was an, another leading indicator of what was going to happen in the stock market now the big uh, warning sign the big thing that everybody's worried about right now clearly is the virus uh you have just record numbers of cases of the virus all around the world uh that's very very scary it's very very serious it's something that should be paid attention to now here's the good news about the virus uh the probability of dying uh, you know the probability of being infected at this point is still pretty low and the probability of dying once infected is is pretty low especially if you're under the age of 75 right so i according to my calculations um you know i i want to say it's about one or two percent if you're under the age of 75 or under the age of 70 uh, or so and you have you're relatively healthy uh, now if you're obese or you have you know obesity and diabetes and heart issues I think that that changes the game a little bit uh, but for the most part um, I think that's why you're seeing that if you go to New York and Florida and other places you'll see that a lot of the restaurants and businesses are full people are going out people are going to the beach for the 4th of July weekend hold the cookouts uh, people aren't really responding as much to what the politicians are saying. And I think it's because they felt that there was a little bit of a mixed signal uh, where in one minute everything was shut down, everybody lost their job. And then the next minute, you know, they were encouraging people to protest in the streets. They thought protesting was okay, but going to work was not okay, or going to church is not okay, but marching in the street was okay. Well, that was a that was a confusing message. And I think that that's gonna cause a spike in the cases. And the, 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 big, um, the big indicator for the next, you know, two or three weeks where Marcus going to be watching is the number of deaths the number of deaths you know that's pretty much the defining factor in all of this right that's what's going to make people you know because if, if you if you get the virus and you don't die you know they, well, there's a lot of viruses people have where they don't die you know lots of, there's lots of herpes and stds out there and people don't die from most of those stds so it basically you know it's it's sort of like um you know the question becomes what's going to happen in terms of deaths and if the death number is high then they know that the fear factor will definitely be high from that and that will cause things to start to shut down again and uh, that could cause a slowdown in economic recoveries and uh you know and my heart goes out to the, so those of you who work every day you know who have to um you know who have to struggle um you know in terms of your jobs and stuff because of the pandemic i encourage you to uh learn how to invest and things like that learn how to start a business you know use this opportunity 
liberty to get off the plantation uh, because um, you know there's no certainty in this world and I think that this is what this whole situation is showing you is that nobody's gonna have your back but you and I just want you to make sure you're good make sure you're safe so a couple things I want to let you guys know I don't know if you guys know we have a social media platform called black enough uh, and if you're black enough you can join us at black enough.com we, we, we're, we're not competing with Facebook we're trying to give an alternative to Facebook uh, because Facebook loves to shut black people down they ban Farrakhan and some other people the second thing is uh, I have an options investing masterclass that starts on the 8th excuse, oh, sorry on Wednesday Wednesday the 8th uh, at 8 p.m. so if you'd like to join us uh, feel free to go to dr. Boyce masterclass.com that's dr. Boyce masterclass.com please hit the thumbs up button share and subscribe button on your way out and I will see you soon have a great day bye bye